perfect. So while we're waiting, I will just maybe tell you a little bit about myself and uh, maybe I'll ask a few questions for each of you, just get to know you a little bit better. Um, so my name is Neve, um, and I'm going to be teaching uh, this class and hopefully a few more other classes uh, moving forward. Uh, when you enter my classroom, we got to put on our scientist hats. So I want everyone, we're going to be doing lots of thinking, lots of predicting or guessing, a lot of recording of our results. So I want everyone to be prepared to be scientists in my class, okay? <laughs> um, perfect. And what, I, I don't think it was on the list, but um, I think, um, is it Jaden? If you didn't hear, we're just gonna grab just a blank piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, and just cause we're gonna do some recordings. That's, when you're a scientist, that's what it's all about. Um, you'll do loads of experiments, you'll have to record your results. Um, and then we'll get started. I think we have someone else just about to join us. And then I'll go through some of our, really quickly, just some of our rules, because I know it's all a little different working on the computer for class right now. So um, as I said, my name is Neve. Uh, just so everyone can hear me, I will keep everyone muted. Um, but if you have a question, you want to share something, maybe I'm asking questions. It's, uh, I don't want you to just sit there in silence. I do want you to speak up, share what you're thinking, or ask a question. But how are we going to do that if I have you muted? So what it's you funny. do is um, you are going to just cross your finger and like point it at the screen. Because sometimes when you raise your hand, it'll go out of the screen. So if you want to say something, you have a question, you're a little confused, anything at all, cross your finger. And just like in class, when I'm ready, I will call on your name and then either I can unmute you or you can unmute your own microphone. Um, so yeah, just Come on. and I will get to you. And then that's one of the, that's two of the rules. And then the last rule, as we're going along, I might ask, does everyone understand or is everyone okay? Just give me a little thumbs up. It's like our own little sign language that we're gonna use, okay? So that's um, what we're gonna do. Okay. Now, there is a few more that might join us later on, but we're going to get started because we just have a short 30 minute class today. Um, give me a thumbs up if everyone has their equipment and a pen and paper. Super, okay, fantastic. So equipment is check. So I'm just going to maybe ask one or two people a quick question um, just to get to know you, maybe um, Olivia. Um, <laughs> Perfect. Can you, there you go. Olivia, how old are you? Five. You're five. Fantastic. And do you like science? Do you like in experiments and investigating? Yeah. Yeah? So are you excited about class today? <laughs> Good. All right. Perfect. And let's see. Um, is it Nate and Josh? Is it both of you that are joining in today? Perfect. So let's see, in the blue shirt, are you Nate or are you Josh? Can you, um, there you go. Nate. Nate, nice to meet you, Nate. And how old are you? Seven. Seven, and how old is Josh? Five. Perfect, and you both like to experiment as well and get, look into science, yeah? Okay, perfect, and we'll be doing a lot with like, even going into like engineering and math and all these things, so it'll be really, really fun. Perfect. Thanks, Nate. Thanks for sharing. Okay, so today, cross your fingers. Did anyone have a sneak peek on what today's experiment is going to be? Um, let's see. Is it um, Indy or is it Jesse? I see both. <laughs> you can unmute yourself. Uh, it's Gabrielle. Okay. And I think it's on flavors of butter. Flavors of butter. Okay. Very good. Anyone else have a little sneak peek and knows what we might be making or what we might be doing today? Okay. How about if I said you're right when you said butter, but what's this? What is this? Um, Vanessa?
Uh, I think she's gone. Lily? Whip green. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. Perfect. You're like, we need to get to this. I'm going to answer this question. Whipped cream, how are we going to make butter? Well, I'm going to tell you. Okay, so I'm going to ask, okay, let's do something first. Does everyone have a measuring cup? Half a cup and a jar. Okay, so let's, sometimes you might be able to see my face, but you know what? You're probably better off. <laughs> We're going to open up our jar. We have our measuring cup and and it can be like, mine's just a cleaned out, recycled jam jar. You might have a mason jar, you might have a plastic jar, whatever you have, okay? Now, does anyone have marbles? If you don't, it is okay. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna be jealous if you do, because I don't, and it's gonna make it easier. But make sure your marbles are clean. Okay, that's very important because I'm sure they were, we're playing with them before, so it's really important because when you're working with food, you also gotta you just gotta make sure everything is clean and hygienic. So we can add some marbles into our jar. So I don't have any, but if you have marbles, put, you could put maybe about two, three marbles into your jar. That will be enough. You don't need a lot. Perfect. Okay. The same for a question. Uh, yes, Jordan. Or sorry, not Jordan. Jaden. Will you this as our marble? You know what? Yeah, you can. It um, you can use it maybe even at the start. Um, as we make the butter, it might get a little bit. Let's give it a try. This is this is what science is about. It's all about experimenting. So you can tell us if something like that works at the end. <laughs> so perfect. Okay, done. Next thing, we are going to measure half a cup of whipped cream into our jar, okay? So my whipped cream isn't open, so I need to carefully open this up. Now, when you're measuring, let's have a look here. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It's hard to see, but is that half a cup of whipped cream? Thumbs up or thumbs down? If you think this is half a cup of whipped cream, give me a thumbs up if it is or a thumbs down if it's not. Okay, Lily, you wanna unmute yourself. Why is it not half a cup of whipped cream? Because it's not to the top. Excellent, thank you very much. It is not to the top. So we need to, when you're measuring anything, even a liquid, you gotta make sure it's all the way to the top, okay? And then we're gonna carefully pour that into our jar. Just like that. Okay. And then you can close your whipped cream up. Don't forget to put that back in the fridge. So plenty good to use. Okay. Good job. Don't worry if you spill a little bit. It's hard. I spilled a few drops too. And then this is the important part. Okay. You gotta, you can either do it yourself really tightly, maybe do it and have an adult check, but we need to close this jar really tight. So your whipped cream is in there, okay. And we're gonna leave it down, we're not gonna do anything yet. So you, you just make sure it's closed really tight. Super. Now, this is where our scientists come in. We need our piece of paper and our pen, okay, super. Okay, now, if I said, let me, let me see so you can see me. If I said a prediction, does anyone know what that word means? If you were to predict or a prediction. Um, Nate. Is it Nate or Joss? It's Nate, right? Yeah, <laughs> Good. what you think is gonna happen. Excellent, what you think is going to happen. So it's like a guess. Guesses are not right or wrong. You just gotta think what's going to happen, okay? So, and then your result or your observation is what happens at the end, okay? So what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna divide your page in half. Just do one line down the middle. Super. Okay. And then on the left-hand side of your page, on the left-hand side, you're just gonna write P, the letter P on top. So P is for prediction. So you can just write P, okay? And then on the other side, you're gonna write 
result or R. So you can just draw the letter um, or write the letter R. So P for prediction and R for result, or I have observation here, it's the same thing. And just draw the page in half. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you've that done. Super, thanks everyone. Okay, the next thing, okay, I'm gonna ask three questions. Okay, so one, two, three. So just write three numbers. One, and this is all on the P side. One, two, three. Okay. Now, as I ask question number one, you can write or draw what you think is going to happen. So this is your prediction. Okay. Everyone listening, question number one is, what do you think is going to happen after two minutes of shaking the jar? After one to two minutes of shaking the jar, what do you think is going to happen? one to two minutes of shaking the jar. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, yes, Olivia. So we're just gonna, if you're about to tell your answer, don't say it yet, keep it yourself. Mother, mother. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Keep your prediction to yourself just for a minute, okay? Uh, but, but that's a good prediction. Okay, hi. question. Hi, Number two, what do you think is going to happen when you shake the jar for five to ten minutes? Okay. What do you think is going to happen after we shake the jar for five to ten minutes? Right? You can write or draw your answer. Yes, is it, sorry, isn't it Gabrielle or Gabriella? Did you have a question? Yeah, do you want to unmute yourself? I think that, I don't know. I'm not sure if it will thicken up because I have two predictions and I don't know which one will happen. Okay, well maybe write both of them down and then we can see what happens at the end, okay? Okay. So we're gonna leave it at just the two questions right now. Okay, so everyone, there are two predictions. Now, everyone, this is where we gotta use our muscles. Make sure the lid is really closed and we're gonna start shaking the jar. So make sure the whipped cream hits the top and bottom of the jar. So we're gonna shake it really hard for about one to two minutes. What's good is if you have a brother or sister or a friend with you, your hands get tired, pass it to them and then they can help, okay? So let's shake, shake, shake. Listen, listen to what's happening. Feel, you can kind of feel what's happening in the inside of the jar. Maybe let's make a dance out of it, side to side. <laughs> Somebody needs to get the music going. Okay, I'm gonna keep going for another little bit. Shake, shake. Does anyone feel, is, does it feel a little different? I'm gonna keep going, we said one to two minutes, and then we're gonna write our result. Shake, 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 shake. There we go. <laughs> shake, 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 shake. <laughs> okay, let me see, do I, I think I need to go, I need to keep going. So make sure it hits the top and bottom of the <laughs> jar. This is where everyone gets, hey, this is a science class and a fitness class. <laughs> we're getting, we're working our arm muscles. <laughs> Good. Good job, Nate. Make sure this, you gotta shake it really hard. Make sure it hits the top and bottom of the jar. <laughs> if you have a friend in the room, Maybe you want to pass it off to them. Give your arms a break. Ooh, okay, let's see. I'm gonna see, this is about two minutes. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna get a spoon and show you what happened. So this is gonna be our results. Okay, before, 
Before we do that, who wants to share their prediction for my first question? What will happen after one or two minutes? Lily. It's going to be fluffy. Fluffy, really good description word. Fluffy like whipped cream. So you can see here, remember how liquid it was? Oh, now we have turned it into whipped cream. So can everyone write their result? After question one, you can see what your prediction was. And the result is that it's fluffy like whipped cream. Okay. Now, let's tighten the lid. We've taken our break. Now we got to shake some more, okay? You ready? And let's go. So the reason it turned into whipped cream, so it was, it was very liquid at the start. The reason it turned into whipped cream is that there's fat molecules. So like little pink of, um, let's see, pink of a balloon. Those balloons are like little pockets, little spalls, and it's full of fat, okay? So there is lots of fat in whipping cream. But when you're trapping, there's lots of air. When we're, it's like a whisk, we're shaking it around. Those fat molecules start to break and, and they escape from the liquid. So they start to thicken up, okay? So that's why it turned into whipping cream. But we're, our question number two prediction is what happens after five or 10 minutes? So it depends. When you're using the marbles, it'll be, it might be quicker. But I'm just using this jar, working it out. And I want to see if those fat molecules, so those little air bubbles, not air bubbles, but those little bubbles of fat, what happens to them? <laughs> Are we getting tired? Whew. What happens to them when you keep breaking those fat molecules down? So you're bashing them together. So there's lots of almost like, as I said, balloons, fat balloons, <laughs> filled with fat and you're bashing them together. So you're breaking their wall, okay? So they like have a protective wall. You're breaking all that up, okay? It's gonna need another little bit, but as the next few minutes go over, we wanna see if you can hear anything, because eventually you might begin to hear something, okay? And if you ever heard, if you've ever baked, with whipping cream and you're using a blender or a whisk. Does anyone ever say, don't whisk too much because you're going to make butter? Ooh, so I wonder what's going to happen if we shake too much. <laughs> okay. Once again, we're trying to break down those fat molecules. Let me know if anyone has success with anything, if anything is starting to change. Because if you're using marbles, it's gonna be a little quicker than me. So share if you're starting to hear anything. Okay, Lily, I'm gonna keep shaking, but you unmute yourself and tell me what you've noticed or what's happening. It's more like clumpier and yeah. Okay, it's clumpier. Oh yeah, look, look at mine. It's Much more. clumpier. It's smelly, but... it's smelly more like butter. Okay, good, you smelled it. Excellent, use your senses. Oh yeah, we're getting there. Oh, Nate, that looks good. Is your, um, Maybell, um, what has happened to you? I see you sharing your, sharing your jar. Let us know what's happened to you. Mine's clumped together a lot and now it's pretty much just sort of like, it really looks like butter. Except for it's not like, it's not like in a bar. It's sort of just really just clumped. Okay, you want to try shake it just another few minutes? Now I'm hearing something. So now as I put it to my ear while I'm shaking, I can almost hear something solid hitting the sides of the jar. I did not hear that before. Same. Yeah. So if you put it to your ear, you'll hear it. You'll almost hear liquid and you'll hear a solid. So you'll hear something hard hitting, and it's not the marbles, because I don't have marbles in mine. But you hear something hitting, hard hitting, but I'm also hearing a lot more liquid. And I didn't hear that because we had whipping cream. Remember we made that fluffy whipping cream that Lily tried? I think I'm nearly there. 
you might already you might already be there. And if you think you are, you can start getting ready to get maybe I have two options. I have like a strainer or I have like a colander, some sort of a strainer and like a bowl or a dish. Oh yeah, now I'm starting to hear. Oh yeah. I'm excited to write down this result. This one, it more. Now it's mine is just like clumped and there's like more liquid. Excellent. Okay. So I think Oh, you know what? Everyone take a breather. Maybe stretch your arms up or down. I don't know about you, but have a look at the muscles. Have they grown? <laughs> ah, that was tiring, but well done. Excellent. And there's some good teamwork as well. I know I saw some people called in some recruits called in some maybe moms or dads or someone from behind to help <laughs> so well done everyone okay now i'm excited so i'm gonna put my screen down so you can see mine now as i said i was kind of i'm just kind of using whatever i have in my kitchen you might have a stressy lily has a perfect strainer this might be a little big so i thought this was like a perfect size so you could see just something that has holes in it because what has happened okay i'm gonna have to multitask so everyone open up their jar. So it's perfect. I see Olivia has a strainer in the jar. You're gonna pour what is in, oh, your jar. See what you get. Oh my goodness. Look at Oh my goodness, what just happened? Um Mate, what just happened? What did you do? What happened? What, what was the result? What can you see? What happened to our whipping cream? It turned into butter. <laughs> Excellent. It did. It turned into butter. So what you could do, because there might be an extra little bit of a liquid, with the back of your spoon, just kind of push it down, okay? Push it down so all that extra liquid, which I'm going to tell you what it's called, kind of, you want to get all of that out so it's just butter, okay? A little bit more there. Get that marble out. Yes, true. Good point. Thanks for the reminder. If you had a marble in your jar, make sure you take the marble out and you can make sure to wash it off as well. So take before, your marble out. Don't eat the marbles. Good point. Do not eat the marbles. You might not be left with any teeth. Okay. So what you can do is, I have that in a bowl, okay? Then I'm just gonna get another small little container and I'm gonna put my butter in this container. Okay. Okay, so you should have two containers. Who wants to tell me what happened after five to ten minutes of shaking? Um, Gabrielle or Gabriella, sorry, <laughs> I keep forgetting. You want to share what happened? You just got to unmute yourself. Yeah. So the milk, well the whipped cream thickened more and more came so clumpy that it turned into butter. Excellent. So our result for question two was it turned into butter. Did anyone get that prediction right? Anyone give me a thumbs up if you got that prediction right? Okay, good. So number one, after maybe two minutes of shaking, the fat molecules started to break and it turned into fluffy whipping cream. But when you kept shaking, what happens is in whipping cream, there is liquid and fat, okay? But when you shake it so much, you're breaking those fat, they're called molecules, so those fat bubbles, you're breaking them down, you're breaking their shell, and then they break up so much that they separate from the liquid. Now, here's the question. Maybe have a look at this liquid. It doesn't look like water. Does anyone have any predictions 
of what this liquid might be that's in whipping cream. Um, Maybell, and your, is it your sister? What's your sister's name? Althea is my sister. Althea, do you want, <laughs> do you want to predict, do, or maybe your sister, what boat one of you can predict at what do you think, think this liquid is called? I think this is some sort of form of milk. Excellent, definitely has the color of it. And it's called buttermilk, okay? It's called buttermilk. Has anyone ever heard or used buttermilk before? Yeah, Maybell, do you want to continue and say what you've used buttermilk for? Well, you can use buttermilk. Um, I, I heard some recipes that use buttermilk. Yeah, use a lot of it in maybe baking or you can make buttermilk pancakes. So don't throw away this liquid. This, you can store this liquid, keep it in a jar, and maybe you could make some buttermilk pancakes out of it. But what our experiment was, was to make butter from whipping cream. Now, before we finish up and before we decide to maybe taste it, there's some things you can add to butter. You could add, yes, I see Lily has honey, some salt, you can add some herbs, you could maybe make garlic butter. Does anyone want to share with what they have next to them and what they're going to add to their butter to maybe make it a flavored butter? Um, mm -hmm. Lily, what are you going to add? Honey. Honey, perfect. So you can just squeeze a little bit of honey in and mix it. I'm going to add, and Olivia, what are you going to add? Uh, chocolate. You're going to add? Chocolate. Chocolate, okay. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Anyone else? Um, Gabrielle, what are you going to add? Sorry? I know. Sorry, I can't fully hear you, Gabrielle. Nate, what are you going to add to your butter? Cinnamon. Cinnamon, okay. And that's the thing, you can experiment with different flavors. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic to almost make some garlic butter. And then what the best part is, we get to taste and try it out, okay? So remember, with whipped cream, there's a liquid and there's a fat. But when we shake them so much, they separate and we all the fat clump together and it made butter. How cool is that? Tastes <laughs> good. Yeah? Good, I see Nate's really excited, super. Okay. <laughs> So I'm gonna maybe ask one person or maybe two uh, what you learned today from our science experiment. I'm gonna go to, uh, let's see, Nate, you're already um, unmuted. What did you learn from today's science experiment? Anything at all? What did you learn? That food can be science. Excellent, I love that sentence. Food can be science. No, excellent, super, and it, excellent. So the same thing we did, this is like a mixture of two different things that come together. Engineers will use that same thing. Baking, cooking, um, so use a lot of things, so excellent. Um, it's kind of like um, you ever have dressing and you have like olive oil mixed with like vinaigrette and mustard. You have to shake it a lot before you can put it on your dressing because the mixture falls apart. And one more, Lily, what did you learn from today's class? Anything at all? Um, that you can, um, do, you can like make, do a bunch of experiments to make one thing. Excellent. So, like you said, if you stopped halfway, we had made whipping cream. But then if you keep going, you're still going in your experiment, we were able to make butter and buttermilk. So excellent. And last but not least, um, Gabrielle, you just got to unmute yourself and then I'll be able to hear you. Um. I can also use it to make like not just butter pancakes, but you can also use it for many other stuff. And also you can, what? I forgot what I was going to say, I think. No. 
um, that you can, you don't have to buy ingredients from the store. You don't have to buy butter from the store. You don't have to buy like those stuff that you can make at home from the store. If you have the ingredients, you don't really have to go shopping for it. Excellent. So say you're really stuck. You want some butter on your pancakes or on your toast. And you're like, I don't have butter but you have whipping cream in the fridge. Now you can make your very own butter. So I just like to say thanks so much for every, everyone for our class today. So much fun. Go taste your butter, try it out in some toast or maybe on your pancakes or anything like that. And um, we are as well offering iCook classes. There's like summer camps coming up and um, there's coding classes and it's called iCode after school. So we do have lots of other fun activities. But we will still have um, more of these STEM classes coming up. You can um, put the butter on a piece of bread, too. Excellent. And did you try it yet? No. Okay. Well, in the next class, can you try a bite now? Or let me know if you like it, and um, I'll hear about how it tasted uh, afterwards. All right, everyone. Thanks so much. Um, have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see everyone again soon. Bye. Bye.